Hi, boys and girls, it's me, Harry, and I have with me... Pastor Hayden, hi, boys and girls. So glad you joined us for another special chapel today. So, Harry, can you remind the boys and girls what we do to start our chapel each and every day? We put our prayer hands together. That's right, our prayer hands. That's when we hold our two hands together, just like Harry and I are doing right now to show you, and we say our prayer. So we always start with saying, Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our friends, our families, our teachers, and all the doctors and nurses helping everyone. We love you. And all God's children said, Amen! Amen! All right, Harry, do you want to lead us in our worship song day? Well, Pastor Aiden, can I do it sitting down? Yeah, Harry, you can do it sitting down. Why? What's wrong? Well, oh no, you have some bruises on your feet. Well, let's sing our worship song first. That'll make me happy, and then I'll tell you what happened. Okay, boys and girls. So, Harry, you going to still lead us? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I love it. So put our hands up on our, our heads. And we're going to sing. From my head down to my toes. Ouch. God loves me. From my head down to my toes. Ouch. God loves me. From my head down to my toes. Ouch. My ears, my eyes, my nose. From my head down to my toes. Ouch. God loves me. Oh, Harry, I'm so sorry that you hurt your feet. What happened? Well, Pastor Hayden, I was hanging out in my room, reading a book, and then, well, my brother came in, my older brother. He ran in, and he grabbed one of my toys, and then he ran out of the room with it. Well, what did you do? Well, I went chasing after him. I jumped out of my bed, and I ran around the house, and then he ran outside, so I ran outside and chased him, and then boom! I stubbed this one and this toe. Oh, and then I, I was really hurt and sad, so I had to come in and get a Band-Aid from my mom, and I just, I'm just so upset about it, Pastor Hayden. Well, Harry... You know, there's something that we learn in the Bible that's kind of like this mask that your grandma gave you that helps protect us, that can help protect our feet and help us to remember to do good. What's that, Pastor Hayden? Well, I like to call them Bible shoes. What's a Bible shoe? I'm going to show you, okay? So here I have two Bibles. And I kind of think of this like Bible shoes. So just like we have a shoe. Well, those are my shoes. Right, these are Harry's shoes. And we need shoes to put on to protect our feet when we go outside. And we put socks on to protect our feet too. So we always need socks and shoes on to protect our feet and keep us healthy, right? Yeah, that's right, Pastor Hayden. Well, just like we need to put on our shoes, we also need to put on our Bible shoes. Well, how do I do that? Well, we can put on our Bible shoes every day when we read our Bible and we also pray and remember the things that we have learned in the Bible too. So when we do that, it's like putting on our Bible shoes. And that way, wherever we go during our day, it'll help keep us protected and doing what is good from the things that we learned in the Bible. Lock what, Pastor Hayden? Well, in the Bible we learn that we should share things and love our brothers and sisters. Right, Harry? Yeah, that's right, Pastor Hayden. If I would have put on my Bible shoes, I wouldn't have got my feet hurt. That's right, Harry. If we would have put on our Bible shoes, we would have shared things with our brother, and we also wouldn't have chased after him. We could have told them we loved them and that we like sharing and maybe even played with them too. Yeah, that would have been much, much better. And then I wouldn't have to have my hurt feet. That's right, Harry. So let's remember, boys and girls, just like we sometimes put on our shoes and our socks to keep our feet protected, we also need to put on our 
Bible shoes. That's right, our Bible shoes. By saying our prayers and also remembering the things that God has taught us in the Bible that help us stay healthy and protected and doing good. Oh, that's great, Pastor Aiden. I'll remember that each time I put on my shoes or my socks and wherever I go, I'll remember to do what God taught us so that things can be great. That's awesome, Harry. So let's put our prayer hands together and thank God today. So dear God, thank you for our Bible shoes and teaching us ways to be healthy, safe, and doing good. We love you. And all God's children said, Amen! Amen! Oh, oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Amen. Well, I hope, Harry, that you rest up and your feet be feel better the next time we meet with the boys and girls. And boys and girls, remember to put on your Bible shoes today or your Bible socks if you're staying inside by remembering what we've learned in the Bible to help others, to love others, to listen to others, and to keep doing good. We love you, and we'll see you later. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, guys.